So again, let's start out by listing our gibbons. Our starting temperature is 96.312 degrees Celsius. And we know a formula that relates Celsius or the Celsius scale to the Kelvin scale. And that formula is Kelvin's is equal to the temperature in degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Well, in this case, they want us uh, to convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvins. So 96.312 degrees Celsius is our starting point. Again, we're going to however many Kelvins that is. So as it is written, this formula gives us, uh, will give us that temperature in Kelvins, in SI units. So we don't have to do anything to this. But let's say we were going the other way. What if we were going from Kelvins to degrees Celsius? We would have to manipulate this equation. And the manipulated form would look like this. Degrees Celsius is equal to Kelvin's minus 273.15. And I just did that using algebra. Let me show you. I want to isolate degrees Celsius by itself because this is what we want to solve for, perhaps. So in order to do that, I need to subtract 273.15 from both sides. And I end up with K minus 273.15 is equal to degrees Celsius. That's all I did. So in this case, we don't need this manipulated form, but we do have it. So let me erase again and go back to the original form of the equation, which is what we have here. And this is what we're going to use. So the temperature in Kelvins is going to be equal to 96.312 plus 273.15. That is going to be equal to 369.462 Kelvins. Now they tell us to round to three decimal places again. And the reason is because this actually comes from the conversion. This is a considered an exact number, while this is the measured value in an inexact number limited to three decimal places. So our final answer cannot go beyond three decimal places as we add these two values together. So our answer would be 3.4.